He's, uh, he's moved from the big budget special effects extravaganza to the personal small independent movie about the giant monkey taking over New York. <laughs> I've always, I got it. <laughs> Call Lord of the Dance Man! Take that monkey! bit of a problem with the King Kong movie because they get the, they go to the, the island right the monkey's minding his own just giant monkey lives in the Hawaii or something <laughs> they, uh, they drug this monkey imprison the monkey and ship him to New York in a crate that's that's what could possibly go wrong <laughs> although I don't think King Kong was his real name I think it was King Kong of Wits and as he goes through you know you go through Ellis Island and uh, <laughs> Which no one will understand that. You're King Kong now. <laughs> and you, buddy, you're Godzilla Steen. Yeah. <laughs> Don't write. I'm sorry, too. But, you know, you, you shouldn't take a 50 foot monkey to Manhattan. There's going to be trouble. You can't even take a teenager to Manhattan. <laughs> You know, it's a town where stuff is going to go crazy. You do, you get a giant monkey in a crate. Here's a tip. If you have a giant monkey in a crate, take him to Paris. <laughs> the city of, the city of lights. Romance. And get to know your giant monkey. I, uh, I think the French wouldn't be bothered. You know, if, they, if King Kong climbed up the empire, you know, what do they call it? The Eiffel Tower? They'd be like, so what? You can climb. I don't care. <laughs> All right. You're a great big monkey, so what? <laughs> Just in case, we surrender. But I... Uh, <laughs> but I... Uh, <laughs> okay. No going to Scotland, no going to France. I, uh, what did King Kong actually do wrong, though? What did he actually do wrong? Let's think, right? The monkey's in Manhattan, he can't get a cab. Uh, uh, he climbs up the Empire State Building and falls in love with uh, Naomi Watts in this new movie. He's, that's not a crime. There's, he hasn't broken the law here. There's no, there's, nothing's happened. He didn't even fling poop at Staten Island. He hasn't done it. He didn't do that. And I, I've done that. I hope the Statue of Limitations is up on that. Uh, suddenly I think there's a hole in the otherwise airtight logic about the giant monkey coming to Manhattan. I, it doesn't make sense. When I think about monster movies, for me, the greatest monster movie guy of all was uh, Vincent Price. I love you. Remember Vincent Price? I always knew you were going to get a good movie with Vincent Price. Even now when you see it on uh, like the old cable channels and stuff and Vincent Price, it's always good movies. You know where you start, like it's black and white or something. It starts, it's raining on the street and it's London town. And you, the news vendor goes, oh, the latest news. <laughs> Ripper strikes again in Whitechapel. And then he, he comes over with a big top hat on and everything and says, Hello, news vendor. Anything interesting in your newspaper? <laughs> Why, yes, sir. It seems the Ripper is struck again. <laughs> he must be a very talented man, this Ripper. I once had lunch with uh, John Landis, who's the guy who... Um, he directed the Thriller video. He also directed uh, Animal House. He's a fantastic movie director. Uh, he directed the Thriller video, and he knew Vincent Price. And he told me this story. You know, because Vincent Price did the voiceover in the Thriller thing about, you know, when the... We leave the... All that. Um, Vincent Price we always felt that he hadn't got enough money for doing that. And so when the first uh, Michael Jackson trial came up, you know, the first allegations appeared, Vincent Price called John Landis, and he said... John, it's Vincent. Did you think Michael did it? Do you think he's guilty? <laughs> and, and John said, I, I don't know, Vincent. Who knows what goes on? You know, he said, I don't know. <laughs> but he certainly screwed me on the royalties for the Thriller video, didn't he? <laughs> he said, he said, he said. Worldwide.